In this video, we will provide an overview of your Hawks account, highlighting the different assignment types and features that are available. When you sign into your account, you will be brought to the Hawks dashboard. The dashboard includes a toolbar along the top of the page and displays your courses and highest priority assignments in the center of the page. From left to right, the toolbar provides access to your grades, ebook, discussions, assignment alerts, displayed as a bell-shaped symbol, and messages, displayed as an envelope. In the top right corner, you can select your name to access a drop-down menu where you can select settings, help, live tutoring, live support, training video, give feedback win prizes, and sign out. If you ever need technical support with Hawks, you can select Live Support to open a chat session with a Hawk Support representative in a new window any time of the day or night. In the center of the main dashboard page, Hawks categorizes assignments into a mini to-do list designed to help you prioritize your assignments based on their due dates. You can select one of these hyperlinked assignments to start working or select View Course to the right of the textbook title to display your full to-do list. When you select View Course and are brought to the full to-do list, all homework lessons, quizzes, and tests assigned in this course will be displayed. There are three tabs along the top of the list. The main to-do list tab, which includes your full to-do list, and two additional tabs, which allow you to filter your assignments by category. Select the second Lessons tab to access just the assigned homework lessons for your course, or select the third Web Test tab to access just your quizzes and tests. When you select a lesson name from the full to-do list or Lessons tab, you will be brought to a landing page which displays Hawk's recommended three-step learning path. We recommend that you begin in the Learn mode on the left, then move into the Practice mode in the center, and finally, complete your assignment in the Certify mode on the right. Select the Start button in the top right corner of the Learn module to access an interactive presentation of the instructional content for the topic, including examples, videos, and activities. Select the Next and Previous buttons on the left and right sides of the screen to navigate page by page, or select the Pages button at the top of the toolbar along the left side of the page to open the table of contents for the lesson and skip to a particular topic or example. Select the watch button beneath that to access both the overall lesson overview video and specific example videos from within a pop-up window. Select exit learn in the top left to be brought back to the lesson landing page. In practice mode, you'll work through practice questions and apply what you've learned from the learn mode in order to prepare for certify. From the lesson landing page, select the start button in the top right corner of the practice module to be brought to the question set and access the first question. The question types presented in practice are the same as those in certify, but in practice you have access to several learning aids to help you answer the questions correctly and learn from your mistakes. So it's always a good idea to spend time in practice before attempting certify. For some questions, you will need to enter your answers into the space provided. For others, you may be prompted to select an answer or multiple answers. To submit your answer to a question in practice, select Submit Answer in the bottom right of the question. If your answer is incorrect, a pop-up will appear along the bottom of the page informing you of this. Within the pop-up, two options are provided in the bottom right, explain error and try again. Select explain error to receive customized feedback based on the specific error you made. Select try again to return to the question and enter a new answer. If you select explain error, you will be brought to an explanation of why your answer is incorrect and how to correct it. Within the Explain Error screen, you can then select Back to Practice in the bottom left to retry the question based on what you have learned from the explanation. Select the Tutor button in the bottom left of any question if you would like help. This will provide you with three learning aids displayed as tabs in the top right. The first tab will either provide a hint or specific step-by-step -step guidance on the question. The second Learn tab 
provides access to the instructional learn content if you need a refresher on this topic. The third solution tab will display the correct answer and an explanation as to why that answer is correct. Select back to practice to return to the original question. Select the try similar button in the bottom right to try another version of the question using what you have learned from the tutor resources or select the skip button to the left of that to skip the current question and move on to the next. If your answer requires a symbol that is not available on your keyboard, select the keypad button on the right side of the screen to launch the keypad in a pop-up window and select the necessary symbol from the options displayed. You can also enter a keyboard shortcut directly into the answer field for any symbol you might need. A link to our keyboard shortcuts can be found below the keypad button. Upon completing a practice session, you will receive a results page. Based on your performance, Hawks will recommend you either continue practicing or move on to certify. You will be prompted to either select continue practicing to practice more questions or continue to certify to access the certify mode. Below that, you will see a full breakdown of your performance, including how many questions you answered correctly, how many you referenced a step-by-step -step walkthrough for, how many you skipped, how many you answered incorrectly, and your total time spent. This information is presented in a table as well as a pie chart. Once you are ready for the graded component of the assignment, there are several ways to access the certify mode. From the practice results page, you can select continue to certify if it is available to be brought directly into the assignment and access the first question. While we recommend selecting continue practicing when the option is displayed, you can return to the lesson landing page to access certify by selecting back to lesson in the top left corner of the practice results page. Note that you must achieve mastery in certify mode to receive credit for the lesson. The mastery level is displayed in the lower left corner of the Certify module. You'll need to answer this percentage of questions correctly in order to receive credit for the assignment. Select the Start button in the top right corner of the Certify module to be brought to the first question of the assignment and begin working. In Certify mode, you no longer have the options to skip, try similar, or access Tutor. These options and learning aids have been removed from Certify so that you are held accountable for understanding the material on your own as you would be on quizzes or tests. There is still time to learn from your mistakes in Certify without penalty, whereas this often isn't the case with higher stakes assignments such as quizzes and tests. The bar in the top right shows your progress. Correct answers will fill in the bar moving towards mastery. To the right of the progress bar, there is a heart icon. This icon displays the number of strikes you have remaining, meaning how many questions you can answer incorrectly while still reaching the mastery level for the assignment. If you exceed your strikes or miss more questions than allowed, you will be taken to a results page and prompted to go back to practice where you will be provided with a customized set of questions based on those you answered incorrectly and certify. To access this adaptive practice session, select practice missed questions from the certify results page. This practice session is adaptive to just those question types you need more practice with. You can return to certify at any point to try a new set of questions by selecting save and exit practice in the top left, then selecting certify from the lesson landing page. There is no penalty for attempting certify multiple times as long as you reach the mastery percentage prior to the due date. However, the more time you spend in the practice mode, the fewer attempts you should need in certify. If you reach the mastery level by the due date, you will receive full 100% credit for the assignment. If you complete the assignment after the due date and your instructor has a late penalty in place, you may not receive full credit. Upon achieving mastery, you will be brought to a results page, which will confirm your certification status at the top and display a breakdown of your performance in a bar graph below that. If you need to pause certify at any time, you can select save and exit certify in the top left corner and return to it later. The number of pauses you have remaining will be displayed in a confirmation pop-up. 
Select Dashboard in the top left corner of the page to return to your main dashboard. If your instructor gives their quizzes or test through Hawks as web test, you can select a hyperlinked web test name from the mini to-do list in the center of the page or select View Course to the right to access your assignments from the full to-do list. When you select a web test, you will be brought to a landing page where the due date, number of attempts, and the time limit are displayed. You can begin the web test by selecting Start in the top right. This will bring you to the first question of the assignment. Select the Next and Previous buttons on the left and right sides of the screen to work through the questions in order or select a question number from the drop-down box in the top left to navigate through the assignment in a more customized way. After you have answered all questions, select Submit Assignment in the top left. You will be prompted to select Yes, Submit My Assignment in an additional pop-up window as well. You will then be brought to a results page, which we will explore further in a moment. While you can always review your completed lessons in preparation for a quiz or test, Hawks provides an additional practice web test tool to help you study more efficiently and effectively. From the tabs across the top of the full to-do list, select the third web test tab. Two additional tabs will appear below, web test and practice web test. Select practice web test, then select create practice web test on the right. You will be brought to a page where you will enter your practice test name and make your selections for the test. Enter a name for your practice test in the practice web test name field in the top left. Below that, select the chapters and lessons drop down to display the chapters available and select the chapter you want to pull questions from. A list of all lessons available for that chapter will populate. Select the Add button to the right of any lessons you want to include. In the top right, enter the number of questions in the Number of Questions box. To the right of this box, select the Set Time drop-down menu to choose how you'd like to be timed for this practice test. You can either select Not Timed, select 15, 30, or 60 minutes, or enter a custom number of minutes and select Set. Finally, select Start in the bottom right to begin your practice test and be brought to the first question. Enter your answers to each question, navigating the same way you would in an assigned web test. Upon completion, select Submit Assignment in the top left. You will be prompted to select Yes, Submit My Assignment in an additional pop-up window as well. You will then receive a results page, the same as you'd receive after completing an assigned web test, displaying how many questions you answered correctly, total time taken, and the date and time completed at the top, and a more in-depth breakdown of your performance below. Your overall performance on the practice test will be displayed as a pie chart, and your performance per lesson will be displayed as a bar graph. To access your performance per lesson data in a tabular format instead, Select the View Tabular Format hyperlink from the bottom of the Practice Test Results page. These results will identify any lessons where you could benefit from more practice and help you to prioritize and structure your study time. From the main results page, select a bar in the bar graph to launch a customized practice session on that lesson, including only the types of questions you answered incorrectly in the practice test. Within the practice session, you'll be able to access the learning aids from practice mode, error-specific feedback, tutor, which includes step-by-step -step walkthroughs or hints, a link back to learn mode, and a worked out solution, and try a similar question. You can select exit practice in the top left corner at any time to return to the main results page and select another bar in the bar graph to launch a practice session for the next lesson you would like to study. When you are finished working in the courseware, sign out by selecting your name in the top right, then selecting Sign Out from the drop-down menu. For technical support, you can always reach out to our support team via 24-7 live chat through our website or by phone at 1-800-426-9538 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information, please visit hawkslearning.com forward slash students.